Country legend Dean Watson is one of the greatest traditional country singers of his generation. His latest album, My Gospel Roots, finds him back at the top of the charts with deeply personal music. I'm Caroline Javi. I'm here with the legendary Gene Watson. Number one song, your third number one song off this album, Build My Mansion Next Door to Jesus. Talk to me about how you're feeling, what's going on in this music. I dedicated this CD to my mom and dad, but I did it for all the fans that have been asking for another gospel CD. I had one out about 10 years ago or so, and I was privileged enough to get to bring two of my sisters up to Nashville and sing harmonies with me on it. They had never been in a recording studio before, and it was all great, and I was thrilled. And uh, since then, well, it's, it's, it's kind of been one of those deals where the people come and want to know when you're doing another gospel CD, when you're going, you know. And that, that went on for quite a while, and I now decided to do it. But what I want to do is go back in time and, and pull some of the old songs out that my mom and dad used to sing in church, and also some of the songs that me and my older brother and, and my younger brother and my sisters used to do in church too. And so I titled uh, the album My Gospel Roots and dedicated it to my mom and dad. 75 charted songs, 23 top tens, six number one country songs, and now you've had three gospel number ones. What is it like to just sort of, is it like a reinvention of yourself or is it just an extension of yourself? How does it feel to keep making waves like this on multiple charts now? Well, I'm so thrilled because so many of my idols have passed on, you know. A lot of people that I really looked up to and I could go to for advice and, and I, well, they're no longer there. And now I find myself uh, in a position where I have people coming to me asking me what to do and what did you do, what works and what don't. And so... How does that feel? And who have been some of those people that have come to you? Well, a lot of the new artists, you know, that are just in the prime of things. And, and all I can do is just tell them, you know, I, I'm not a part of what works today, you know. Uh, I came out in, in, in my day and time you had to play these places, you know, and, and I'm from the great state of Texas. Me yeah, oh yeah? yeah? Yeah. Well, you've heard the old stories, the old timers that had screen wire up in front of the stage and everything, <laughs> you know. Well, I came in right after they took that down, but I played all the nightclubs and everything and everywhere I could be seen, and and it just happened to me because a couple of guys heard me and liked the way I sounded and, and brought me to Nashville and gave me a shot. Thanks so much for watching this week's Nashville Insider feature. If you liked what you saw, be an insider and hit the subscribe button. Also check out our friends Summer and Bray on their YouTube channel. And if you want to see full episodes of Nashville Insider, go to countryroadtv.com and use the code INSIDER when you sign up to get a free month. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week.